Today's advocacy activity is a Colts Guide to Understanding the Synergy Gradebook. Synergy is truly a useful tracking tool to understand your grades and why you have what you have in each class. So I will be going over with you Today's advocacy activity is the Colts Guide to Understanding Your Synergy Gradebook. This is Ms. Mosley here, and I hope that you learn all about your Synergy Gradebook because it's truly a useful grade tracking tool. Our activity today will go over logging in on ClassLink Portal, which I'm sure many of you already know how to do. We will take a look at student view, um, the email icon, class schedule, gradebook, and more. We will also go into the gradebook and learn how to read the gradebook, both the snapshot and more detailed information for each class. And then you will have an opportunity to practice looking at your gradebook and deciphering why you have the grades you have. Middle schools all over the world ask, why do I have this grade in your class? The beauty about the Synergy gradebook is that it tells you why you have the grade in your class. There's no guesswork on your part. So when you're logging in, many of you are already familiar with this. You log into your EGUSD account on ClassLink Portal. You'll see something on your screen like this. You click that, you log in using your student ID number and the password. It's the same information that you use when you log into your Chromebook. Here's what the Synergy icon looks like. And you will click that when the time comes. When you open up in your student view, it auto defaults to the class schedule. So you'll see this class schedule right here. And this is just a breakdown of the classes you have each day and the periods that you have them. It, up here, it shows quarter one, two, three. Well, we are on today. So it's showing whatever class you would have today. On the side um, of this class schedule, you will see these different icons here. There's a calendar you can use and it will show you assignments that are coming up at a glance, class schedule, um, course history, your report card information, school information. The primary two we'll focus on today um, are Synergy Mail. You want to make sure you're at least checking your Synergy Mail twice a week. Let's just say Monday and Friday is a good rule of practice. You never know if your teacher is emailing you something. There may be information in there. For instance, eighth graders are going to be taking the PSAT. And I know Ms. Freeman has sent lots of emails about that. So always check your Synergy mail here highlighted in green. But for today's activity, we're going to focus mostly on gray books. So you would, this highlighted yellow icon, you would click there and it would bring up a snapshot that looks like this. Make sure you're in your quarter two gray book. So here's a larger snapshot of the gradebook. Now, if you just start right here, you have a lot of information on the page. You have all of your classes, the grades that you have in each class. So this student has a B minus, D plus, F and F. And then it also shows if you have missing assignments. So no missing assignments for math, four for PE, 10 for English and zero for science. This is a useful, graph right here for each class. It shows um, if you are trending up or down in a class. So you can see the student took a dip in PE, but then is bringing the grade back up by getting some assignments turned in. So just as a snapshot, you can totally look at this screen, but this doesn't give you the whole picture. So what we're going to do is look at each grade and find out why the student has the grades that he or she has. You do that by clicking on the subject matter. So when it's your turn to look at your grades, you will click on your first period class title, second period class title, fifth, and then sixth. You will have um, a digital copy like this posted in your rich Google Classroom. And this is where you will complete the assignment when that time comes. We'll go over it together and then you can go back and do it on your own. For practice, I'll walk you through it first. If you are better with paper and pencil like Ms. Mosley, let's just call you old school, you can ask your advocacy teacher for a um, paper copy to do the activity when that time comes. So step one, you open up the Synergy Gradebook, click on your course name. We'll start with mathematics for this student. So when I click on the gradebook, I can see 
that I, the student has a B minus in the class at 80.8%. So for period one, I would write or type math eight because that's the class. The grade and the percentage B minus and in parentheses 80%. And we saw from the, the snapshot screen that there were no missing assignments. So you can't really see it on this screen if there's missing assignments, but when you're in your full view, um, you should be able to see if you have missing assignments or not. And then this is an important um, area right here, waiting. Some teachers wait grades, some, some teachers don't. So for this particular student, and you'll, you'll type out if you have waiting for each class or write, um, the final and warm-ups are worth 10% of the grade. And for, as you can see, the student has 10% complete. So they have 100% in that category. Homework is 40%. So this blue column here is telling you the percent of the grade. This student has about 32% of those points completed. And as a result, has 80% in the homework category. So a B for homework. And then quizzes are... 15% of the grade, this student only has about 10.5%, which gives um, the student a 70% for quizzes. The average of those three is what gives the student an 80%. It's a lot more detailed than that, but that's kind of just the basis of um, how this student got a B. And as you can see right here, there hasn't been a test yet for math eight for term two. So we have that all filled out, period one, math eight, B minus 80.8%, all of that information is here. There were no missing assignments. We saw that on the snapshot screen. And then the breakdown of all the weighted categories. So that would be period one. Then you're gonna repeat that step for each course. So now we're in the student's period two, which is physical education. This student has a D, which is a 66.3%. So that's on there. Now, if your student has your Google Classroom linked, the screen is going to look a little bit different. So you'll see snapshots that look like this. You'll see an overview, four missing assignments, D, there's an upcoming assignment right here. By clicking on the four missing assignments, it will filter those results for you where you can see the four that are missing. For teachers who don't have their grade books linked, it's not that intuitive. You have to go through your... Um, assignments and we'll see that on the next example. So this student is missing the ed puzzle, the handbook agreement, fitness challenge, and another ed puzzle. So if you are missing any assignments, you'll go ahead and type or write that on the missing assignments area so you know what's missing. Always a great idea to go back to that email portion and email your teachers. Is it too late if you don't know the late policy to turn in these missing assignments? Okay, to get your grade up. And for PE, there's no weighting, no weighted categories. So we will type none there. So for a teacher who doesn't have Google Classroom linked, the breakdown will look like this. You'll see all of the um, assignments and you will have to go through and count what's missing and type the names there. So it doesn't have that filter option as um, if a teacher has the Google Classroom linked to Synergy Gradebook. So now we're in honors English. We have that typed in. The grade is a 30.3%, which is an F. And there are 10 missing assignments. I went through and counted. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Don't just count them, students. If you are missing, look at the title. So if I, if I um, toggle over here, I see that the learning log is missing. So we have that typed in, learning log. This student is actually missing two. So I just put two learning logs. And then short abbreviated, I put Ed Puzzle and Frank, Holocaust Notes, Ed Puzzle for Heart, Heart Questions, Code of Conduct, Honors Agreement, Student Agreement, and Inventory. You want to be as detailed as possible so that you can talk to your teachers and you know exactly this is what I'm missing. Can I turn it in? Looks like the student was maybe absent and missed some assignments. I'm sure most of your teachers have policies for late work or absent work that needs to be turned in. And then one more class, this student, I mean, excuse me, this teacher's gradebook is linked to Google Classroom. You can see by the G's there and they are waiting grades. So we are gonna take a look at that. Oops, I didn't mean to go that far. 
So for the weighting, there's three categories, active participation, assessments, and assignments. And if we remember the this light blue is the percent of the student's grade. So 30% active participation. This student only has about 15% of those points turned in and as a result has a 52% or F in the active participation category. So although this student doesn't have any missing assignments, because they're not all the points are turned in for each assignment, the grade is at an F. Um, for the assessments, which assessments are like tests, 35% of the grade comes for that, from that category. And as you see, the student only has about 19% of those points in, which gives uh, the student a 56% for assessments. And then finally, assignments at 35%. A little more points here in the assignment, 24% of those points are turned in. So the student has a 69, almost a C in that category. Although there's no missing assignments, you could still have a lower grade if an assessment, you didn't get all your points on a test or a quiz or on an um, assignment that you turned in, or even let's say active participation in class and you weren't really participating, so you didn't get your full points for that week. So although you may not be missing anything, it can be something like this example where all of the points weren't earned and as a result, the average of that weighted grade is an F. It's still good to know because now what this student could do is go, oh man, I need to be more active in class so I can get my active participation points up or I'm gonna study for my assessment so I can get more, more points there. Um, or on the assignments, let me make sure all my assignments are completely done, answers are correct before turning it in. So now you are going to do it like this. So this is the final example, all of the um, classes are on there. Every category is filled out. What's missing if the um, teacher has waiting or not. And you're going to head over to Google Classroom and do that yourself. I'll show you what that looks like. It will be in Google Classroom like so. And it will have the steps to remind you. Step one, what you're supposed to do. Step two, information from each category and then repeat. You have the digital copy here. Um, and then lastly, after you complete it, go ahead and fill out this completed advocacy form by clicking on the link and it will take you to this page to fill out. If you have any questions, I'm sure your teacher will be glad to help you in advocacy um, navigate this. And if you are more so into writing instead of typing on the computer, just ask your teacher for this digital copy, I mean, excuse me, uh, printout um, where you can write it yourself. Just write your name at the top and then you can write in all the information on your printout.